action. Okay, so what we're doing here, this is a this head plate is does two things. It's decorative, and it's pretty. And, and uh, as you build guitars, this head plate can be made out of just about anything. Um, oftentimes, it's made to match the fretboard. Sometimes it's made, it's cut out of wood to match the sides and the back to kind of keep an aesthetic theme going. Now, one of the things you see occasionally is they'll cut the, the fretboard and the head plate out of the same piece of wood so that the grain that goes up the fretboard is continued onto the head plate. That little, that little uh, loop guitar I made is done that way. It's, there's not much grain to it. You gotta really kind of look to see it, but it's there. And it, uh, strengthens the headstock a little bit because you can see here's one side of that scarf joint and here's the other when you put this across it it gives you more gluing area across it and it increases the shear area so this makes it a lot stronger you know the, this joint is it, there's nothing you can really do to break that joint something if that joint breaks the rest of the guitar is probably a write-off too something really bad happened to it so it does a couple of things and it also locates your string up. right now that may be the most important thing it's doing so the reason we have the string that's sitting here is we're going to run the, the head plate right up against it. And if it's in there, you know, and, it, and it, this, is, this is plastic so glue won't really stick to it. Once it's in there, we get everything clamped. If it's still nice and tight, when we pop that thing out after the glue's dry, we should be able to pop it back in. It'll be nice and tight. One of the things that makes guitar sound bad is if the string nut or the, the uh, uh, saddle aren't seated very well. Because you're counting, what, what a, a guitar does is the, the, the energy that goes into the air originally was in the strings. So the kinetic energy in the strings propagates into the body, makes the body vibrate, and the body vibrations are what make the sound waves that we hear as music. And it can only do that if there's a good solid mechanical connection. So if this thing's kind of floating in the air or not seated very well, that affects tone. And you can take a, not, you know, a, a $200 guitar and rework it, you know, set, do the, change the setup, set the, the, the string nut a little better, replace them with bone that'll, that'll transmit vibration a little better. And you can, you can get a $200 guitar that's, that plays a lot better than $200 worth that way. And people, some people do that. They'll take, they'll take kind of mad guitars and rework them. And sometimes they come out pretty well. Um, this said just a little, a little tab left from the glue or from the molding on it. And it was, it was, it was butting up against that, so that seat's better now. So that's the goal right now, all right? Now, when you get wood wet, it expands, it's hyperscopic. And so it's more of a problem when you only get one side of a board wet. That side wants to expand and the other one doesn't. And so that's where warps come from, the cupping and stuff. Well, this is water-based glue, it's got water in it. And so when you make, when you put the, the uh, glue on here, this side is going to try to expand, this one won't, and the whole thing is going to cup a little bit. That won't stay that way when it dries over here and go back. But what that means is when we glue this on here, we've got to do a couple of things. We've got to make sure it doesn't move. And the other thing we've got to do is make sure it's, it's, it's uh, held flush or held tight everywhere. That's what this is. This thing is called a quince, well, it's a block, but the official name for it is a clamping call, C-A-U-L. And what it does is it distributes load. So when I get everything set up, I'm gonna put this on there, mash everything flat. When I'm sure nothing's gonna move, then I'm going to uh, put some clamps on it. Okay, so it's this is one of those times where preparation is everything. Once you've started applying glue, you're committed. There's no, the preparation is done. So. What I'll do here, it's good to have this tape here. I'll get everything lined up, and I'm gonna put a couple loops of that tape around here to make sure everything holds nice and steady. Because this stuff is like grease when it's wet. And what you don't want is to put this on here, put a clamp on it, and have it, have it, have it, have it, have it, have it slide like that, or slide back here, or something, do this, it, it happens. But not to us, right? Because we're not gonna do that. And. These, the slot here should match up to the, the slot that's in the headstock. If we need to, to enlarge that slot a little later, that's, that's really easy. If it isn't just super, it doesn't fit it super exactly, don't worry about it. We'll, number one, we'll, we'll, we'll rework it a little bit later than the other one. It's going to be, un, usually it's under a little cover plate anyway. Now, this side is cut a little bit off vertical. It's, this is a 16 degree angle. This side is 16 degrees off vertical. So what we're not gonna do 
is glue them on this way, right? Now it's 32 degrees off of that. Whoops. So put it right side up so that when the head, the head plate is at 16 degrees below horizontal, that edge is vertical. So that's, that's what it's gonna look like. And what that does is that hits the vertical face of the string nut, pinches it right in there, everybody's happy, everybody's comfy, the energy's gonna flow through there, it's gonna be great, all right? Okay, so whenever you get to this point, you should stop and ask yourself, okay, self, why should I not do this right now? Is there a reason why I should not do this? And just think for a second. Everything's right side up. I've got everything I need. Because when you when glue is sitting here drying, that's not the time to go, oh yeah, I need some clamps. That's a bad time to do that. But I think we got it here. What do you guys think? When I get glue all over my fingers, where am I gonna wipe the glue? Wet paper towel on your I don't think Bill wants us doing this, but if you look at the workbenches of every working luthier I've ever met, it looks like it's got dragon snot under. You can scrape the, the underside of the bench off, I think it weighed 10 pounds less. There are times when I think two thirds of the glue I buy winds up under there. <laughs> you, I speak the truth, don't I? I don't want to think about it. Okay. It's true. It's true. It's true. That was a yes. Okay, just, just want you to know. Does that have a damp cloth and a dry cloth? Any hand of paper towels that went over there. Paper towels, fine. Um, by the way, I told you not to use Tecton 2, and there's a couple of reasons not to. One of them is do this with, with your hands when they get glue on them. This stuff will at least theoretically wash out. Tight Bond 2, if you get it in your clothes, it's there forever. Tight Bond 3, you could probably make a boat out of. So, oh, I'll just wash it. No, that Tight Bond 2 is there forever. So if you do this with Tight Bond 2, it's yours until you throw the clothes away or wa washing them will not get it out. Just, how do you think I know that? Experience. Yeah, it's like, oh, whoops. Sorry, honey. Okay, so I think we're good to go. We've got the tape, got the string nut, got the clamping call, got a bunch of clamps, got a place to wipe off the goobers. Got your tape. Got my tape. Want to pull off a couple of strips and stick them to the edge of the paper? Sure. That's a good idea. Yeah. It's possible to over prepare. <laughs> well, That's probably I a good still idea. Have to school. Over engineer, over prepare. Okay. All right. So, that doesn't really matter whether you, you put the glue here or here, it's going to wind up in the same place. Now, if there's a little squeeze out, don't worry about it. It's we're going to trim this thing to you. You have designs for your headstock, right? Yeah. It's all going to get trimmed off anyway. Like I said, this stuff is very benign. It's very non-toxic. The best glue spreading device in the universe. You've got 10 of them. Well, on Hopefully. Average. Hopefully. <laughs> Think about it. The average human being has less than 10 fingers. Better than more, I guess. And this is just gummy. This is just a polymer, water-based polymer. And you want to get it all the way to the end here. I'm still looking. And just squeeze. Now, when you when, once you get this stuff out of the bottle, you got about five minutes of open time. You know, when five minutes goes by, you better that joint better be assembled. About the same amount of time you spend dishing. Five minutes. Wow. He doesn't see dishing, that time. You must be hungry. You eat a lot of food dishing about. Okay, so there, that's a, that's a pretty good coat. And this end grain here will just drink the glue in. I'm about ready to do that. Hang on a second. There's a lot of Thanks. See, prepared, there we go. Don't look under, underneath my workbenches. I was actually rebuilding my shop. he's a doctor, we gave him the truth. Right. That means we're Not that kind of doctor. <laughs> if there's anything wrong with you and you come to me, you're screwed. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty good. You like that? Now this is these these this wood is warped a little bit just because of the humidity changes, but that doesn't matter. It has a really bad sense of humor. Yeah. See the tape helps. It helps that There. What I'm messing monkeying around with here is I'm trying to get that slot to match the the, the slot cut in here to match the slot in the neck. You see the head. So what do we use for the horizontal slot or the edges? The slots. 
Because yep. you're because we have a center line and that slots in the center of the neck. Yeah. This this these uh, head plates are rough sawn on at least one side, so they're. I see it slid a little bit. I wonder if you could put like a pencil or something in here. No. To help. You got it here. Help kind of hold, you know, keep your alignment. Yeah, this this one keeps trying to slide back on me, so I have to help. Well, I'm worried about jamming something in there and then not being able to get it back out. We don't have that problem now. That's looking pretty good. What do you guys think? It's good to me. And it's when it when it yeah the calls. Are, that's, that's, there's a call me joke somewhere in here. I just can't find it. Call me maybe. Yeah. And what I'm doing is I'm leaving just, I can just see the last sixteenth of an inch or so here. Make sure I've got everything lined up. And it's good when, you, when you're putting on multiple, this one's not too bad. Um, when you don't, don't, that, don't take that first one and go at it like you're trying to, you know, squeeze juice out of a railroad tie or something. Um, Get them all a little bit sort of kind of finger tight there. And let's just make double shirt. Push that up there. Everything's looking good. Okay, and Still trying to slide just a tad. Oh, look at that. I mean, that's like downtown right there. You probably don't want to put glue on both surfaces. You'll over glue it, right? Yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll, just, it'll just squeeze out, though. I mean, that's what the tape is for. Out much for all the glue I put on there's not a lot of squeeze out a little bit right there but remember this is all getting cut off you don't care what you're looking for is that the sort of the measure of merit is if you can get a nice even pressure everywhere because when we when you cut these to the right to the final shape you're gonna it, you're, it's gonna be like a, a like a road cut through geologic strata you're gonna see the edge of this the edge of the, of the neck the edge of the head plate and then you're gonna see that glue seam in there and when it's nice and tight, that's, oh, that's, see, that's pretty right there. Yeah. So there's no gaps that are pulled yeah. around in the middle. That's clean. Now, the stress on your, your head plate is not very high, so it's, you know, if there's a little bit of, you know, another one of those, it's just a, another one, of, you got one of those that actually grabs. Do you want us to get your Yeah, could you? Thank you. Here you go, Mark. Oh, thank you. This dudes are just hell on clamps. As are mine. And it's your favorite clamps, the little ones that go down. Really? See that one grab just a little bit of squeeze out there? Okay. We're good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just fussing with that last little Miller Scotia trying to get the blue, the blue squeezed out. This is this will be fine. This will be better than fine. <laughs> 